Well, today I want to give a word of encouragement to those of you who have been hurt, who have had people that intentionally have set out to harm you, to hurt you, people that have bullied you or people that have made your life miserable or people that have lied about you, people that have stolen from you, people that have hit you, people that what in whatever way have done damage to you on purpose. And it happens. It happens in the workplace. It happens in the schoolyard. Sometimes it even happens in church. It happens in families more than we want to admit. And the story I want to remind you of occurs right at the end of Genesis. Jacob has died. And so his, his sons are there. And if you remember the story, Joseph was sold into slavery as a young man by his brothers. He ends up in Egypt, eventually becomes the prime minister because he stays faithful to God. And it's a hard thing. He does jail time, but he ends up being prime minister and he ends up being able to save his family, moving them all into Egypt where, where they are, are prosper and things go well. But when the patriarch dies, the brothers get a little nervous and they go to Joseph and say, we'll be your slaves. And Joseph says, don't worry. What you intended as harm to me, God intended for good for the things that are happening now for the saving of many lives. I want to tell you two or three things to remind you in times like this. Sometimes the people that intentionally are trying to harm you don't have a clue what's really going on. God's got you. God's going to see you through. God was with Joseph every step of the way from the time he went into that well to be sold all the way to became prime minister of Egypt. God was with him and God is with you when people try to hurt you. And sometimes God is doing a greater thing than you see and certainly greater thing than the people that want to harm you can even imagine. They think they're hurting you and God is using that to do good. Sometimes good that will result in the saving of lives, maybe physically, certainly spiritually sometimes. You know, it's hard when people bully and hurt and intentionally do harm. But rest assured with this, God's got you. Your job is to do one thing, stay faithful, stay committed to God, do what you need to do. Don't give up on him because he has you. He is doing a great thing. And the very thing that the people that want to harm you are doing to you may be exactly what God is going to use to do something great with you and through you. So this is Steve Ridgell with a word of encouragement to not get discouraged, don't give up, stay faithful to God, and someday we'll sit around in heaven talking about the great thing that he did with what some people thought would hurt you.